Hi everyone, welcome to An Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma. And here in this video, we'll be talking about the strategy to score 650 plus marks in the Neat 2024 examination if you are starting from today. Okay, so watch this video till the end because here in this video, we will discuss the strategy for the physics, chemistry and biology. I will tell you important chapters as per the analysis, right? As per the previous paper analysis, as per that trend, I will tell you the number of questions also. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new to our channel, you know what you have to do. Just subscribe uh, this, to this channel and hit the like button bache, and stay tuned till the end. Now. See, in all the videos that I have posted, I always used to say that your exam will be there on 5th May 2024. And as per the official update by NTA, right, it is confirmed that need examination will be there on 5th May 2024, right. So, roughly you have 6 months, 20 days, isn't it? So, now the question is that ma'am, is that time period is sufficient enough to cover the syllabus and is it find that we can still score 650 plus marks so here i'll tell you one thing very honestly see here it depends the uh, it depends upon your efforts literally it depends upon your efforts because there are students who used to uh, who used to give their two years three years and the four years for this examination and still they are not able to score 600 marks so even if you are thinking that in just six months can we score 650 uh, plus marks the answer is yes but it depends upon the strategy that you follow let me tell you this thing very honestly right and many toppers they are also aligned on it that if someone has cracked a particular examination that doesn't mean that they know each and everything from that syllabus right it's just that their strategy their, their strategy was appropriate and accordingly they scored very good marks and this is what you have to do and moreover moreover this preparation strategy is important how are you preparing it is important you are completing your syllabus no doubt it is important right but exam day is also equally important sometimes we know our syllabus we know the things in detail but on exam day because of uh, any panic attack because of any tension right because of performance pressure we messed up and because of that we the selection is not there right we miss that opportunity, isn't it? So it depends upon your strategy. And in six months, you have to train yourself that yes, right? You have to give yourself that pressure so that on exam day, you feel totally light, right? You, you should know that how are you going to attempt the paper? That strategy should be clear in your head, even your attemptation strategy, right? It should be clear in this preparation phase, okay? So now you know this is our syllabus, isn't it? Right from in biology, 90 questions will be there, 50% of syllabus and then comes the physics and chemistry. Now, in biology, right, it is very important for us to score 360 marks, right? 360 out of 360, we need to score if we want a very good college. Moreover, in chemistry, you cannot think less than 120, okay? And you cannot, same here, in the physics also, you cannot think less than 120 marks, right? Right? You should try to score 120 plus marks. Then only you can meet out your target. Right? That's clear. So now, if you are watching this video, then I know that you have studied something. It's just that you are demotivated. You do not have that proper direction. That's why right now you are looking for a solution. And here I am. So, first of all, just keep it in your mind. These four Ds of success. Right? These four Ds where first D is saying the determination. You have decided you are going to crack the NEET examination, right? And now you have decided, right now there is no second thought that whether you are going to quit or not, okay? So if you are watching this video, please, you can stop right now. You can think of it that is there any chance that still you can quit? If it is no, then go for it, okay? So you have decided now dedicatedly dedicately you have to work for that in a proper direction in a disciplined manner okay might be after watching this video you will feel motivated and you start studying for eight hours nine hours but that is not the solution okay so might be after watching this video you are motivated but it is the discipline right it is the discipline that will maintain that motivation it is the discipline which will help you to achieve something in your life and so this is what you need to keep in your mind okay so remember these four d's and please take out a pen and paper note down these four d's and just paste it near to your study area right so that you can you can just have a look at it again and again again and again and you have to inculcate in your personality you have to inculcate such things in your day-to-day -day routine now come to the 
timetable part i know many of you uh, many of you want me to give you a perfect timetable that you can uh, you know follow and accordingly you can go for it sorry it is not going to happen now because now we are sure right that our exam is on 5th may 2024 and now even if you are going in an any offline institute even in the online classes your schedule will change accordingly change as in you will also have that energy right now you have a target even your teachers are having a target that yes we have to finish our syllabus so that we can revise the syllabus again and again that's obviously that's obvious right that's obvious so accordingly your timetable will change right if let's say you are in class 12 and you are preparing for the neat examination and you have to go for the boards as well so accordingly your timetable will vary right you are going to school even if you are going to the offline classes right then also your timetable will vary and for the online classes also so here please keep it in your mind some students they go for the online classes as well they go for the offline classes as well and because of that they just take the classes they just miss the time for the self study so if you are doing that please don't do this okay this is what you need to keep in your mind the first thing now as i said timetable depends upon your routine as per your routine you have to please write down that what you are doing after waking up and before sleeping and now you guys can check after writing it down that where are you wasting your time right you can see where can you increase your productive hours so accordingly you have to decide and in the comment section i want to see this comment that yes ma'am we have analyzed that and accordingly we have we have, we are ready with our timetable that we are going to follow for next one month because after one month again i'm going to ask you what are you doing okay and accordingly again we will discuss our syllabus completion now the next is see might be you are a dropper you are going for the classes right so for 6 to 7 hours let's say even if you are taking your classes then you should have time right you should have 3 to 4 hours for your self study if you are a dropper it is very easy for you to get this much time for the self study only here i'm not including your classes timing right i'm not including anything here you are just going to revise whatever you have done in your classes even if you are studying by yourself even if you are dependent on self study then you have again you have time might be you are watching some youtube classes okay then still you should have time where you are going to revise whatever you have completed in that classes and here your theory revision plus your pyq practice should be there right so it's slowly slowly right and if you are thinking now that from today you will give 8 hours for the self study not possible not possible okay and even if you will start doing it there comes a time when you will again feel drained so if you want to go right right for a longer period then you should understand that it is going to be a marathon go slow but be consistent right ultimately in this journey if you are consistent then yes in 6 months you can score good marks might be if you will not study you will get just 300 marks 400 marks be consistent just give your best okay so it is also the possibility that you will get your dream medical college so at least put efforts in right direction this is what i want to convey today fine so from 3 to 4 hours make it 5 to 6 hours make it 6 to 7 hours but slowly 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 even if you don't have 3 to 4 hours even if you have 2 to 3 hours that's minimum because you have to give time to physics chemistry and biology okay that is also fine but daily you have to study right without even missing a single day please keep it in your mind that now you have just 208 days right do not just look at this word month right because again then you will think are i have 6 months here i have 5 months i have 4 months no no start counting the days okay start counting the days so you have 208 days so you have to justify your each day this is what you need to keep in your mind fine and here right whatever time table you are going to follow morning routine evening routine whatever it is pyq practice is must okay pyq practice should be there your ncert reading should be there this is what you need to keep in your mind now come to the physics for medical students mostly physics is a very difficult subject right some of you enjoy physics but mostly students they cry for physics as per them they cannot score good marks right as per them it is the physics 
right it is a physics which will be a game changer right and mostly students are like that uh, might be because of physics we will not get selected but actually it is not the case see you just need to study the physics of 11th and 12th level that's all i know i know it is different from your board examinations here you have to practice the mcqs you have to practice the numericals and it is difficult right and the first thing is that you consider it a uh, difficult this is the first issue you have to you have to treat physics like a normal subject like it is also a subject you should not consider this thing that oh i i'm not studying maths so might be i will not be that good in physics no that's not the case right you are studying the syllabus of 11th and 12th and that is going to be easy so here the teacher is going to play a major role exactly right you have to decide it wisely sometimes teachers they start mostly they start from a uh, from a level little above the basic okay so in that case students they are not able to resonate they are not able to understand what that teacher is teaching so basically if you are weak in physics if you are good enough then go for a teacher you know who's teaching you a level above the basic level but if you are not good even if you are below average mostly students they are then in that case right go for a teacher who used to teach you the basics of the physics so first of all basics you need to understand okay so if you are studying any topic sometimes some topics are you know even related to your 9th and 10th syllabus if you don't know about that topics so even just give your one hour and study that particular topic from 9th and 10th maybe you will understand that in a better way then go for the 11th and 12th syllabus then start your physics start it from basic level okay and after understanding that chapter just start with the numericals then okay first of all understand that chapter then go for the question and please do not start the questions of your je level je means je advanced level as of now not even the neat level very basic questions there are some books where you know they they divide the questions as level 1 level 2 level 3 go for it start from the basics first okay okay and once you will feel confident that okay fine now it's good for me then i will move to the next level and if you are thinking that ma'am in in that way uh, if we are going to follow this then we will not complete our syllabus in 6 months so there is no need to even complete your syllabus now you have to go for the smart work right and if you want to complete the syllabus right if you ever wanted to complete the syllabus you would have started on time so basically now go for the smart work now go for the strategy by which you can at least score at least score 80 to 100 marks in your physics okay and if already you are getting good marks in physics and you are looking for the improvement then the question practice can save you and the analysis of your mistake can mistakes can save you so make a proper strategy right you have to decide your level no teacher can do it for you right if you will study from me regularly then i can tell you that okay you have problem in this topic or that topic you have to analyze it by yourself if you are giving a test if you are giving the test of a particular chapter you will see that where are you making the mistakes right if in a particular topic in a sub topic you are making the mistakes then please revise that topic again and again right practice the questions of that topic again and again do not focus on completing the entire syllabus as of now you should focus on the most important topics if you are not good enough in this particular subject now pyq practice is very important but again start from the basic numerical questions then move for the pyq right so now this is your syllabus this is your syllabus this is actually topic wise syllabus i am not saying these are total number of chapters but these are the topics right these are the topics your class 11 syllabus class 12 syllabus this is the official syllabus as per the last year information bulletin i will share the pdf in our official telegram group now just look at it if you want to score you know somewhere 120 plus marks then right here we have the list of the topics that you should cover right i am a biology teacher you must be thinking that ma'am how do you know about it hai na so obviously i spoke to many students right those who have qualified the neat examination they shared this information with me right i asked my fellow teachers as well and after all that analysis and from the books where you know they have given that pyq analysis i came to this conclusion okay i came to this conclusion so obviously even i followed shreyas sir videos also right where he was telling uh, some topics were also there in his videos also so see unit dimension and error every time you are going to get question from this particular chapter and it is a very easy chapter you will uh, you have to give your one day for this particular chapter 
okay so two questions three questions at least you are going to get from this chapter and might be it can be four as well so basically two to three questions are confirmed so near about 16 marks you can score from this chapter then kinematics is there 12 to 16 marks means three to four questions can be there and for this chapter you have to give your three to four days and remember you have 208 days right you have 208 days then optics ray and wave optics both are important general wave about the radio waves em wave these kind of things are also important from such topics you directly get one question so even if you want to analyze any physics paper now uh, or you want to analyze your previous year paper trend go for it you will see that some topics some topics are repeated every year you will get question from that topics so just pick up that topic even if you are leaving that particular chapter but there is a let's say there is one chapter let's say there is current electricity and there is one kind of question that will always come in that is that is coming in the neat examination again and again so even if you are leaving that particular chapter try to understand that concept maybe it helps okay okay so so that's how you have to prepare the things okay so now here see kinematics three to four days it is going to take 12 to 16 marks optics very 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 important minimum 20 marks it can be above 20 as well and here you have to give at least your one week dedicately you have to give your one week or maybe eight to nine days also then comes the modern physics which is lengthy but here again it's very scoring same kind of questions are going to come again and again so again this modern physics is scoring and here you have to give five to seven days again so atoms nuclei dual nature right these are the topic 12 to 20 marks can uh, basically UKIs can get after covering this portion the semiconductor logic gates for sure you will get the question from this part two to three questions you are going to get from this part so two to three question 12 marks it's a big deal and topics these are easy it's just that some things are lengthy right so you don't know how to start it sometimes in physics also you have to you have to read it like a story that okay that's how the system is working okay that's how this phenomena is going on in this way so make it interesting for you then current electricity and uh, you know these all topics are somewhere related your electrostat gravitation right so you should cover this part because still you have time and 12, 24 to 28 marks minimum you guys can score by doing these three okay so please put efforts go for the smart work and then comes the em waves eight marks two questions very easily you can get from this part so now when we look at your class 11 syllabus okay like if you are in 12th then obviously you find it difficult to cover or revise class 11 syllabus so see it is divided into two part mechanics one and two so this initial portion here but you need the concept first pure concept right if your concept is strong enough and then you are practicing question then right if your concept you have that hold okay then you can solve question on the basis of that because here it is not like that ki if you know one formula then accordingly you can solve the question no every time statement will be changed things will be changed so concept if your concept is good you will score good and for this particular portion even if you know the formula formula based questions are also there so when it comes to the physics one thing which is very 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 important is that you have to follow you have to form a formula sheet and with that formulas right you can even write down the application so many questions you can just solve from the formulas only okay from the formulas only so go for it so next this is about the physics okay this is your class 12th chemistry syllabus and here if you want to get 120 marks or 120 plus marks so these are the chapters which you should not avoid see organic inorganic physical firstly you have to decide which part is strong right you are good in physical chemistry or in organic or in inorganic here i know there are so many exceptions write down that exceptions on the on a paper and revise it again and again revise it again and again just cram it again and again if you don't understand the concept okay so first of all decide this so if i'm if i talk about the organic chemistry your goc is very 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 important right not you know and i have seen hsp sir used to take classes right right he has taken so uh, he has i think he has taken so many classes on this particular topic so you have to cover both the parts okay and if you mastered this portion now you can easily easily give answer of you know two to three questions very easily you can give the answer and this particular chapter this particular topic is important for answering the questions of other chapters as well so this this goc right you need to master it you should start from it if you're thinking to start from organic chemistry that's very important then hydrocarbon aldehyde ketones 
right see from together from this part you can get 9 to 10 questions 9 to 10 questions it's a big deal so just give your time to such chapters still you have six months okay still you have six months and then after it okay alcohol phenol ether two questions can directly come right after this chemical bonding is there can you see this chemical bonding is there so you have to master chemical bonding and see if you know chemical bonding then studying this periodic table this p block d block s block is going to be easy for you it is going to be very very easy for you right if you understand chemical bonding here there is no need to cram i know these chapters are lengthy i know these chapters are going to take a lot of time right there are so many things to remember but somewhere they are related okay okay so whenever you are planning to start this firstly go for it and then go for it okay so six to seven questions can come from this part and here firstly start with uh, follow your ncrt revise your ncrt again and again for pes and d block right example sheets trend sheets should be there and this is also for the physics do not go for some hc verma right first of all start from basics then slowly slowly ncrt and then hc verma like this right like this you have to go for the practice same here for the chemistry also so physical chemistry solid state solution kinetics atomic structure these are the chapters that you should not leave you should start with such chapters because here also right simply fixed kind of same kind of questions our uh, examiner used to ask same kind of questions you can check previous year papers right right so if you know that pattern accordingly you can go for it isn't it and then now when it comes to the electrochemistry and the coordination compound okay so here in electrochemistry students right i know these chapters are lengthy so yes you can follow good one shot as well and even then after that you have to you have to revise it again and again even if you follow a good one shot because they are going uh, in these chapters you have to devote time then you will get an idea of this chapter and again from this chapter same kind of questions used to come okay so you can go for it in that way also now come to the biology which is making 50 percent of our syllabus and yes if, if i'm telling you such things now that these are the chapters you need to start with and you can get 120 marks this number of marks that number of marks okay that doesn't mean that you should leave other chapters here i simply want to say that if you have less time and you want to score properly good marks you want to score then please don't leave such topics and that chapters the polymers biochemicals very easy repeated questions just solve the pyqs you will get an idea of it okay okay now when it comes to the biology see right so this strategy 20th september to 15th april 200 days and rest 19 days are for the revision only so if you are the beginner and you are thinking from where do i need to start so i will suggest go for the cell unit right even you have to decide that what do you like you sometimes you know we are very good in mugging up the facts okay right we enjoy that part so then you can start with the diversity portion also but if you want some interesting subjects where you know it's biology you have to remember many things but along with that concepts are also there so you should start with your cell unit right you should start with this entire unit that's what i can advise you people because here in this unit three chapters are there right and seven to nine days you have to devote to complete this unit and seven to ten questions can come right right seven to ten questions can also come from this chapter okay okay so start from this unit so that start from this unit so that you can have that confidence that okay i have finished write my preparation for that number of marks for that number of marks like this then anatomy i'm not talking about the morphology yet i'll let you know why right i'm telling you now if you're the beginner go for it anatomy of the flowering plants i have taken a, a one shot on it as well right you can check my detailed video on this topic you will get an idea that that is the, the uh, only that videos you need to follow and you will complete right you will complete your uh, complete ncrt okay then comes the plant physiology anatomy do anatomy before plant physiology if you already know about the anatomy then start plant physiology directly it is going to take your one month at least and here you can see plant physiology very important bache. so you can get 13 to 15 and moreover above 15 also right so transport in plants photosynthesis respiration plant growth and development mineral nutrition according to me this is the this is the uh, sequence you should follow transport in plants very easy 
right here you just need to on, understand the concept same for the photosynthesis right there are some things that you need to mug up as well draw that z scheme again and again right but rest it is also going to be easy then respiration plant growth and development do not leave the plant hormones ever and then mineral nutri uh, nutrition biological nitrogen fixation is a direct topic okay so i will make separate videos where i will tell you the direct topics from each and every chapter here so total you can see five chapters are there still i'm giving you more time one month okay so don't leave these chapters if you're starting your preparation please follow the schedule you will get the benefit out of it then structural organization leave cockroach from cockroach only one question will come later on you can see the one shot and accordingly you can go so start structural organization read the basics of that epithelial tissue right of that connective tissue rest muscular neural tissue you will also discuss in human physiology so they are related chapters so accordingly you should start and then when it is a human physiology seven chapters are there right there is no uniform distribution that from each chapter two questions will come no it's not like that students right but some topics are right some topics are important and even if you are not interested in completing all the seven chapters you should not miss the topics so here you can see few topics like digestive juices ph capacities ecg nephron sliding filament theory ionic theory these are the most repeated questions most repeated topics okay okay so in detail i will also make one video for the biology right i will tell you most important topics from each chapter so that you will get better clarity but it's you right who can make a difference it's you who has to start it's you who has to be sincere if you people are sincere enough then trust me say in six months you can finish your maximum syllabus with a proper strategy and if you practice pyqs properly then of course there are chances you get that type of question and you will get selected right so you have to be positive manifest such things okay that now i'm not going to waste even a single day i will get best out of it and i am going to clear my neat examination this is what you have to do but yes you have to put the efforts then in class 12 syllabus very easy start with the reproduction unit reproduction in organism human reproduction reproductive health sexual reproduction and flowering plants four chapters are there eight days are sufficient because it is not difficult or even you can keep eight to ten days genetics principles of inheritance and variation right soon stay tuned to this channel i'm going to take the one shot of this and then even i am going to start molecular basis of inheritance at 10 am in the morning okay okay from saturday this is what i am going to start so genetics from genetics itself you can get the paper uh, right 44 to 50 marks you can get 44 to 50 marks basically 44 to 48 you can say okay okay that's how you can calculate so genetics it's very important i'm not considering the evolution here right yet so these two chapters are very important in 15 days you can very easily finish it you can even solve many questions right so genetics is very very important and that's my advice after finishing molecular basis of inheritance go for the biotechnology only two chapters five days are more than sufficient always same kind of questions used to come in exam biotech is very interesting it's conceptual and even if you will check the paper right same type of question they used to ask same question which was there in 2012 same question will be there in 2016 also right you will see such trend so after these two chapters go for the biotechnology again easy revise and then go for the ecology four chapters are there so you can give even 10 to 13 days because here you need to revise a lot right so this is what you can do this is what you can follow then go for that human health and disease fine microbes in human welfare because here we want to score 360 out of 360 marks so we should not leave the syllabus then then you can go for strategies for enhancement in food production okay okay so whatever cha chapters now we are leaving you can go for that okay and here also right then after finishing it you can go for your diversity part you can go for your morphology part because again it is also memory based so you can even if you will start it later now you can even complete it then but because now you have sufficient time let's say i'm saying that you need one month for plant physiology might be might be you take 32 days 35 days like this right so these are the most important units right so if you will start them in the month of february march you will be under pressure okay at that time you will just look for some uh, you know uh, 
some short solutions okay you will go for just uh, you can say that you will look for a shortcut at that point of time but now still you have time you have sufficient time to complete the syllabus of physics chemistry and biology in such a beautiful way that you can score good marks so again i'm repeating it's all about the strategy even if you uh, ask a topper right you cannot say that that they know each and everything from their syllabus no no okay so this is what you have to do be realistic your timetable should be your target table. It should be target based. Your strategy should be target based that in this week, these number of chapters I have to complete and be realistic. Okay. Don't be over motivated. Don't overburden yourself. Okay. Be realistic here and then do not change strategy again and again. Right. And there comes a time when you are going to feel low, when you will feel high, low, high. That's fine. That's totally fine. Right? This is going to happen in your preparation journey again and again. But still, the one thing that you have to keep in your mind is that you are not allowed to skip now. Okay, because you have decided, you have that dedication, you have a direction, you are disciplined enough, you are going to follow that. So that's what you need to keep in your mind. So time to time self-introspection is important that actually are you studying or you are just opening the books and you are wasting time. This is what you need to realize. Mock test should be there in your preparation right always go for the mock test and analyze that mock test that what type of mistakes you are making okay and example sheets you need to you even need to prepare the example sheets for the biology formula sheets for the physics trend sheet formula sheet for the chemistry as well so i hope you find it useful you know this is our wonderful channel and again we need english right we have started it uh, you know, we have started a few months back and we are trying our best to help you people. So if you want to join our amazing Avengers batch, so what you have to do, you can just go to, you can just click any of our video, right? Any of our video, just click on that video, right? And then what do you have to do? See, what do you have to do? You guys can see in the description box, there will be the link. Just click on that link. Okay, just click on that link and you guys can just add your number email and you can be the part of our batch so in our batch currently i'm teaching human physiology soon i'm going to start your class 12 syllabus so stay tuned join our batch and in the comment section do let me know do let me know that what are you guys planning now what is your strategy for the upcoming days so all the best stay tuned